Let's clap, clap, clap our hands. That's it, that's it, that's it. Let's clap, clap, clap our hands. Come on now. Let's clap, clap, clap our hands. Let's spin, spin, spin around. Spin around. Now spin. Let's spin, spin, spin around. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Now spin the other way. Spin around. That's it. Now spin the other way. Let's touch, touch, touch our head. Let's touch your head. Let's touch, touch, touch our nose. Check it out now, y'all. Can you touch, touch, touch your elbow? Yes, you can. And touch, touch, touch your nose. Jesus is the Lord. Uh -huh. Jesus is the King. Come on now. Come on, everybody. Let's all sing. Easter Day is here. Gonna have some fun. Follow me, do what I do. Now come Awesome job, boys and girls. You did such great dancing. I love it when you guys dance and sing with me. All right, boys and girls, we have a very special Bible story, and we have a very special Bible verse this month. But who do we call out to hear our Bible verse? Did you see Mr. Bible? Because you're totally right. Let's go on over to see Mr. Bible and see what verse he has for us today. Hello, Mr. Bible. Oh, hello, Mouse Alley. The kids are ready to hear our special verse this month. Oh, great. You know, this is a special month, and we have a wonderful verse for you this month. It's found in Luke chapter 24, verse 6. And it's so special because it tells us that Jesus is not here. He has risen. Oh, that is so awesome. Thank you, Mr. Bible. We'll see you a little later. Okay, bye. Bye. Boys and girls, did you hear that very special Bible verse? It's Luke 24, 6 says, Jesus is not here. He has risen. Can you all say that with me? Get out those Bible hands and say, Luke 24, 6 says, Jesus is not here. He has risen. Great job, boys and girls. Now, just before we hear our Bible story, we have a very special Bible poem that we say so we can get ready to listen to God's word. So repeat after me, boys and girls. I put on my listening ears and my thinking cap too. And I open up the Bible to hear stories that are true. Great job, boys and girls. Now, like we always do when we prepare our hearts for God's word, we sit quietly, we listen, and we think about what God is trying to teach us. Are you ready? Great. Hello and welcome to KNOS News, where we have a <sighs> nose for news. I'm Scoop Story and I'm here at the Church Mouse Praise House because I've heard there's a big celebration going on. Let's check in and see what it is right now. Thanks, Scoop. Boys and girls, we have Mr. Bible here to share our very special Bible story this week. Hello, Mr. Bible. Oh, hello, Mouse Alley. It's good to be with you guys again today. We're here today to celebrate something very, very special. Today's story is the Easter story. It's both a sad story and a happy story. It's a sad story because a few days after that very special parade for King Jesus that we talked about last week, he was put on a cross where he died. That made us very, very sad and his family sad. Friends, can you make a sad face? Do you remember what the first part of the Bible is called? Yes, yes, I heard it, the Old Testament. Wonderful. In the Old Testament, 
God said he would send a very special way for us to be saved from sin. A sin is something that we do that makes a wrong choice. Oh, like telling a lie? Oh, yes, that's definitely a wrong choice. Mm -hmm. Or taking something from someone. Oh, my, that's another wrong choice, Mouse Alley. Or, oh, ooh, hitting someone. Oh, that's definitely a wrong choice. What happens when we make a wrong choice, friends? Oh, I heard a few of you say it. We get in trouble or we get punished. Oh, being punished is no fun. You might have to go to your room. You might have to even have something taken away from you that you really, really like. That's right. When we make a wrong choice, our mommies and daddies or teachers or they give us some kind of punishment that helps us to learn from our wrong choices. God sent King Jesus to take the punishment for all the wrong things that we do. But King Jesus' punishment wasn't a timeout or having to go to his room or having to give up something he liked. His punishment was to die on a cross. That was the sad part of the story. But the hap, hap, happy part of the story is how Jesus came back. You see, three days after King Jesus was put in the tomb, that's like a big dark cave, he arose. That means he came back to life. And that is why Easter is such a happy, happy day. Why, yes, Easter is a happy time because we know Jesus is alive. King Jesus is alive and we can celebrate together. Well, Mouse Alley, thanks for letting me tell today's Bible story. Thank you, Mr. Bible. Bye, kids. And there you have it, folks. Scoop's story bringing you the latest and greatest on the biggest celebration ever, Easter, and the fact that Jesus is alive. He was gone and buried for three days after he was put on a cross, and yet death couldn't even keep him down. He arose, and today he is alive, my friends. I tell you, Church Mouse Praise House friends, Jesus is alive. Back to the studios. Boys and girls, what a great Bible story. You know what? We have a song that we're going to sing and dance to right now to help us remember that story and worship that Jesus is King. So stand on up and let's sing Hosanna Rock.
Awesome job, boys and girls. That was great dancing. All right, boys and girls, it's prayer time. So let's raise up our arms, give God a big clap and bring it under our chin and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for our Bible story of Easter. Jesus, we love to celebrate that you are alive and that you are king. We love you so much, Jesus. And all God's kids said, Amen.